But is there a line then between what is public and what is private, Mr. Jet Malani? Because uh, you know, there are Bollywood actresses, I'm not going to name them, but there are actresses, top actresses who are apparently having conversations uh, with Amar Singh. And in, and in those conversations, the dialogue is very, very private. Headlines today is airing only those bits of the conversation which are in public interest, but that is not to stop someone else, now that the Supreme Court has lifted this day, from airing those conversations and those actresses will then have the right to feel aggrieved. Well, of course. I mean, one has to be careful what one uh, publishes from, from the contents of the tape because uh, uh, it's clear it has to be in the public interest. And if, uh, you know, uh, just for salacious reasons, if you publish uh, purely private conversations, that's not in the public interest. And there will be a bar on that. And anybody who publishes uh, matters which are, you know, uh, purely in the sphere of privacy uh, will face the consequences for, for doing so. And in any case, you know, this uh, one should be careful that this judgment is not a clarion call uh, for wiretap illegal wiretapping. It is true that in this country we don't have the theory of fruits of the poison tree as they have in America, where if you illegally get something, then the entire product of it, the, the consequences of it are also banned from being admissible in court. But on the other hand, uh, uh, you, you know, people who illegally wiretap should also be brought to book uh, even if it even if it results in vital information, unless the necessary statutory safeguards are complied with, people who illegally wiretap should uh, face. Mr. Tulsi, do you agree with that? That any if there is an illegal wiretap, as there was in the Amar Singh case, it was never authorized by the Home Secretary. That should not be okay to be aired in the public domain. Should not be held as uh, evidence in a court of law. Yes, he's having these conversations about fixing judgments, about fixing sugarcane prices, but that shouldn't be considered as evidence. Because that is essentially the outcome of an illegally tapped conversation. No, no, no. You see, if, um, the Watergate scandal was the first case of illegal, uh, illegal uh, recordings without the knowledge of others. And the president himself got ensnared by that. There are the ma uh, maximum crimes in the last 20 years have been worked out only on the basis of Ill illegal wiretaps. The parliament attack case itself was a result, uh, the uh, most uh, critical evidence was uh, uh, in the form of, the entire investigation was in the form of investigation which was done by interception of telephones. But uh, in, even in parliament attack case, the Supreme but Court did hold. risk us turning into a banana republic? People go about tapping each other's phones illegally in the hope of ferreting out some vital information in the public domain and then pasting them. Uh, on television and newspapers because it is in the public domain because there has to be some sense of law, norms and guidelines. Quite right. It is true that uh, telephone is a part of a personality and you have to be able to feel secure while talking, while making private uh, conversations. But at the same time, all the major crimes are getting worked out only on the basis of intercepts. Otherwise, it is impossible. And not only that the uh, crime criminals are getting nailed on the basis of the intercept, even people are able to establish their innocence because of uh, the GPS and uh, uh, okay. because you can ex establish that you were not at the place of the crime. Okay, so, so we've heard two completely different points of view. One from KT Tulsi, one from Mahesh Jet Malani. Mr. Jet Malani saying that there has to be a certain legality to the tappings. Mr. Tulsi making the point that if... What is being said and recorded is in the larger public interest. It is fit to publish. Ultimately, the Supreme Court needs to decide on this issue. Very briefly, Javed, before I end this discussion, Amar Singh was supposed to speak this evening. He chose not to. He's going to speak tomorrow. What is he likely to say? Where does this story move from here? Because he no longer has the same sort of role in national politics as he did five odd years ago when these tapes first emerged. Yes, it, it is true. But it, it's also true that these tapes... Uh, Portions of this were revealed a bit earlier. A lot of it may have lost traction because the, the immediacy, immediacy is gone. But never rule out Amar Singh. It's, it's true that he's on the periphery of politics. Probably tomorrow he will he will refer to Congress. And he's not the only person in the conversation. If Amar Singh goes down, he will take a few others with him. He will refer to conversations with Mr. Mulayam Singh. We heard Mr. Mulayam Singh in two of these conversations talking about it. So he, pro he will probably dwell and throw some light on... Because on Amar Singh moment. might be on the fringes, but Mulayam Singh could potentially still at some point in time in the future, at least he hopes to be the future Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, he must explain whether he tried to rig the prices of sugar, make a cut out of it, and also whether he tried to fix judgments in the Allahabad High Court. For the moment, 
Mr. Mahesh Jetmalani, Mr. Tulsi and Javed Ansari uh, for joining us this evening. Thank you very much.